Hi everyone, today we are going to be talking about a uniform distribution. A uniform distribution is a fancy way of saying a density curve that is in the shape of a rectangle. Now I know that doesn't sound terribly complex, but there are certain types of problems and certain things you need to remember about these, these, t these specific types of density curves that, you know, will help you prepare for quizzes and tests and the eventual AP exam. Now this first stuff is something you already know, again, pro in density curves, probabilities are calculated by finding the area under the curve. But remember, a uniform distribution is simply a density curve in the shape of a rectangle. So let's move on. These are the formulas. These are the formulas to find the mean and the variance of a density curve. The one you really want to focus on here, if I can get my pen, is the one for the mean of a specific curve. The variance formula I would memorize it for the test date, but besides that, it, I doubt it would ever show up on the AP exam. Anyways, moving on. We'll, I'll show you how to use these in a minute. Ta -da. This is a uniform distribution. It's a density curve in the shape of a rectangle, right? It begins at 4.92 and ends at 5.04, right? And you'll notice this number in the middle, right? It's obviously in the center. This is the mean, right? This is mu, the mean of this specific uh, uniform distribution. Now, let's say you weren't given this number, you're supposed to find it yourself, which would probably be a pretty common question, right? You All you would have to do, and this is true for any uh, uniform distribution, all you have to do is take the average of the endpoints. So let's say this is endpoint A, and this is endpoint B. In order to find the mean, all you'd have to do is add A and B together and divide by 2, which is exactly what I did. I added 4.92, the first endpoint, to 5.04, the second endpoint, and divided by 2, and I got the center, 4.98, the mean in the center of this distribution. Now, what if I want to find the height? Because, as you know, for density curves, in order you're going to need to find the probability, and in order to do that, you need to find the area under the curve. Well, we have a length here, but we also need a height. Well, the formula you need to know is that the height of any uniform distribution is going to be 1 over the difference of the endpoints. So that's going to be 5.04 minus 4.92, which is equal to, in this case, that's equal to 5.04 minus 4.92, which is 0.12, right? So the height, which is from here to here, that's going to be your height h, is going to be equal 1 over 0.12. Now let's say you're given a common qu question, right? What is the probability, let's say this distribution represented the distribution, this distribution of the weights of bags, right? And let's say you want to know the probability that a bag will be greater than 4.97 pounds, right? Well, all we need to do is find the area under the curve from 4.97 or greater, because it's more than 4.97 pounds, right? So we need to figure out where 4.97 is, right there. So we're going to be 4.97. And we have the length, right? Because the length is going to be from here to here, here to here. And that's just going to be 0 0.07, right? Because I subtracted 4.97 from 5.04 and got the length 0.07. And look, we have the height, right? Because you know that the height of this area goes from the bottom to the top, and that's just 1 over 1.12. And of course, to find the area of the rectangle, all you need to do is multiply the, the length times the height, or the base times the height. And what do you get? 0 0.07 times 1 divided by 0 0.12 equals 0.5833. So the probability that a bag will weigh more than 4.97 pounds is 0.5833, which is the area, which is this area right here. This area right here, you see? Moving on, another t type of question you'll get is you have to draw the distribution given the information, right? Well, let's take a look at this problem. The time it takes for students to drive to school is evenly distributed, which means uniformly distributed. It's going to be in a rectangle with a minimum of 5, let's get that right, a minimum of 5, and a range of 35, right? Range meanings from the, the difference from the beginning to the end is 35. So we have, so let's draw this distribution, right? Minimum of 5 means it begins at 5, right? And if, if the range is 35, then the end point, the other end point must be 35 more than 5. 5 plus 35 is 40, so it's going to end at 40. And now the height. Remember, the height is going to be 1 over the difference of the end points. 40 minus 5 is 35. So 1 over 35 is going to equal the height. Ta-da! And that's how you draw this density curve, which is a uniform distribution. Ta-da!